hello guys once again welcome back to another android studio tutorial in this video we are going to create a simple android application that demonstrate how to working with sqlite database in android so we can start with a new android studio project open android studio and create a new android studio project specify application name uh, here I name it as SQLite example select MT activity so here the project is created so the first step of working with SQLite database is to specify the database schema and contract class so here in this application i am going to create a table that need three columns id name and email so in this video here i am going to demonstrate how to create the contract class and how to specify the database schema so first we can close all these files so the first thing first here i am going to create the contract class so right click the package and create a new java class I name it as contact contract and make it as a public class to avoid accidental initialization of this class create a constructor default constructor So inside this class here, I'm going to create an inner class. I name it as contact entry. So in this class here, I'm going to specify the database schema. So first we have to specify the table name. Public static final string. Uh, table name here I name the table as contact info that is the table name now specify the first column name so here the first column name is contact ID Uh, this is the first column name now specify the second second column name second column name is name and the last column name is email So this is the database schema okay so now we create the contract class and we specify the database schema so now we can create the database and table using sqlite open helper class so for that here i'm going to create another class so create another java class now uh, here i name it as contact db helper And this class extends SQLite open helper so here you need to implement some factory methods so you you have to implement these two methods on create and on upgrade here we, we got some error because this class SQLite open helper does not have a default constructor okay so first here we have to specify some variables first we have to specify the database name so create a string variable uh, database name uh, here i named the database as 
contact db that is the database name now we need to specify another variable that represents the database version so public static final int database version here i name the version as one okay so now we can create the database from the constructor of this class so create a constructor for this class uh, conduct helper com conduct db helper so there is no default constructor for the sqlite open helper so here we need some context variable parameter so now we can call the super class method so first parameter is the context now second parameter is the database name so here the database name available on this variable called the database name uh, now the third parameter is a cursor factory object so here we can pass null for it and the final parameter is the database version so here database version available on this variable called the database version so from the constructor we create the database so uh, we can display some lockout message from here specify the tag for the message database operations now specify the message database created okay so now from the on create method uh, we can create the table so from the on upgrade uh, you can upgrade you can update an existing table okay so for create table we have to specify the sqlite query for table creation so here create some variable public static final string create table so now specify the create table sql query create table now specify the table name so we can get the table name from the contract class so contract entry dot specify the table name now we can specify the first column name so we can get the column name from the contract class so contract entry dot first one is contact id uh, now specify the data type for contact id here the contact id is an is an integer so we can specify the data type as number now specify the second column name here the second column is name so get the column name from the contract class here it is name now specify the data type here it is text now specify the last column name here the last column name is email now specify the data type that is also text now close the bracket and put the semicolon so this is the SQL query for create table now create another query for drop table if exist so public static final string drop table now specify the query drop table if exist now specify the table name contact entry dot table name okay so now we can create the table from the on create method so for the on create method we have one parameter that is an object of sqlite database so by using that object uh, you can call a method called the execute sql so here uh, we need to create the table so we can pass the sql command for create table so here we successfully create the table so here also we can 
and display some message so here the table is created table created so if you want to upgrade if the table is already accessed we have to delete it first so sqlite database and call the execute sql method and in that method we pass the drop table command then we need to create the table again so you can call the on create method from this method so <coughs> here uh, the on create method need one parameter uh, that is an object of sqlite database so now we create the contract class we specify the database schema and we create the database and table using SQLite open helper class.